Hi everyone, there is a new damage type known as planar damage from recent update of Taking Root. I will explain about this planar damage first before I share my opinion about it. In a simple way, we can see planar damage as a pure damage that pierces damage reduction from armor that we have so far. Example of a bunny man wearing football helmet that reduced damage by 80%. If we hit it with a dark sword, it will receive 13.6 damage. However, with one of the new lunar related item, Bright Sword, which also deals 68 damage, it will deal 37 damage instead. Why? Because Bright Sword deals two types of damage, 38 physical damage and 30 planar damage. Before this new update, all the armor that we know, such as Football Helmet, Tulusat Crown, Tulusat Suite, Lock Suite, Marble Suite, Night Armor, only block physical damage. So in this scenario, Football Helmet will absorb 80% of 38 physical damage, which becomes 7.6, and then take full 30 planar damage, which is why Bunny Man takes 37.6 damage. By the way, this planar damage doesn't affect damage modifier, which means characters with damage multiplier such as Wigfried and Wolfgang will get the same 30 planar damage. This means planar damage pierces everything, including our favorite Tulusat Crown's force field, which indicates this planar damage is much more stronger lunar magic than protection offered by shadow magic, as Tulusat items are made with nightmare fuel. So, what new creature that possess this incredible power? The notable creature is Deadly Bright Shade, a new plant type creature that not only can deal planar damage, but also have planar defense. Unlike the usual damage reduction from armor such as football helmet, planar defense will reduce physical damage with this formula. By the way, starting from here, there will be a lot of calculations and numbers, but I'm making it as simple and as clear as I can. Kindly pause the video as needed. Example, Dark Sword that usually deals 68 damage will deal 41 damage instead. This is the calculation. First, we multiply the physical damage by 4, then add 64. The result will be 336, which we find the square root and we get 18.33. Then we subtract 8 and multiply it by 4 again, and we get 41.32. This means 68 physical damage from Dark Sword is reduced to 41.32 physical damage. So Deadly Bright Shade will receive 41 damage from Dark Sword attack. A Wilson wearing Bright Sword will deal 56 damage to Deadly Bright Shade. This is the calculation. Bright Shade Sword deal 38 physical damage and 30 planar damage, in which 38 physical damage will be reduced by the same formula, which will become 26.76. Then we add 30 planar damage, so Deadly Bright Shade will receive 56 damage. If you are good in math, in which I'm not, you will realize that this formula means the higher a damage deal to creature with planar defense, the bigger the damage reduction will be. Here are examples of damage reduction from blow dart and gunpowder. This means for future boss that have planar defense, we cannot use the usual tactic that count on high damage output anymore, such as blowing up a stack of gunpowder or using spicy fort gold jelly, as 8000 damage from a stack of gunpowder will be reduced down to 684 damage. That's about 91.5% reduction, a huge reduction that limits player's option when dealing with future boss that have planar defense. <laughs> Speaking of planar defense, we also can craft two new armor that have planar defense, which are Bright Shade Armor and Bright Shade Helmet. Bright Shade Armor 
have 80% physical damage reduction, then additional 10% physical damage reduction. For planar damage, this spreadsheet armor have 10% reduction on planar damage, also a flat 10 planar damage reduction. Here are some examples. Example if Wilson wear bright shade helmet and get hit by deadly bright shade that deal 100 physical damage and 30 planar damage. The good news is, there is no confusing formula. First, we deduct 80% from 100 physical damage, which become 20. Then we deduct another 10% from that 20, which become 18 physical damage. For planar damage, we deduct 10% from 30 planar damage, which become 27. Then we deduct 10 from that 27, which become 17 planar damage. This means 100 physical damage is reduced to 18 physical damage, and 30 planar damage is reduced to 17 planar damage. We add them both, and we got 35 damage. So Wilson will receive 35 damage. If Wilson wear both bright shade helmet and bright shade armor, there will be extra damage reduction on physical and planar damage. Same with previous calculation, first we deduct 80% from 100 physical damage, which become 20, then we deduct another 25% from that 20, which become 15 physical damage. For planar damage, we deduct 25% from 30 planar damage, which become 22.5, then we deduct 20 which become 2.5 planar damage. This means 100 physical damage is reduced to 15 physical damage and 30 planar damage is reduced to 2.5 planar damage. We add them both and we got 17.5 damage. It's a good reduction from the original 130 damage. That's about 86.5 damage reduction. Compared to football helmet, Wilson will take 50 damage. While this seems like armor with planar defense is very strong, surprisingly, it gets weaker if planar damage from enemy is getting higher. Here are some examples. Based on these calculations, we can see that the higher a planar damage, the less effective the bright shade armor is. Because unlike football helmet, a full set of bright shade armor only reduce 25% of planar damage, then adding up a flat planar damage reduction. This flat planar damage reduction is strong if the planar damage is low. But surely, the future bosses will deal higher planar damage. Even if the ratio of planar damage is same like deadly bright shade, which is 10 by 3, we can see bright shade armor become weaker by every increase of planar damage. So the current situation is, planar defense makes player cannot use gunpowder and fort god jelly strategy on future boss that have planar defense, while bright shade armor set will become weaker if enemy's planar damage goes higher. Honestly, the planar battle mechanic doesn't look good if things remain the same like this. In my opinion, the issue is not on higher planar damage, but more on current formula of planar defense that only powerful against lower planar damage. It just needs some more tweaks to make player really feel the benefit of getting planar related equipment, like getting Tula side crown from rushing ruins that feels very rewarding. Also, please take my review with a grain of salt, as everything about planar damage and planar defense could be changed in the future. This is the best survival game I have ever played, and I'm sure things will get better and better as more planar related content release. Thanks for watching this far. I hope my explanation is clear, but don't hesitate to ask on comments below if you have any questions. Have a great day and take care.